everyone. So yeah, I've been pretty busy lately. That's why I haven't made a video for a while. Um, you know, I've been doing my summer reading. <gasps> and I'm kind of getting a little dented in it. But um, yeah, um, on Sunday, my aunt came from England and that's been really good. Um, I haven't seen her in a while. And um, yeah, we've just been hanging out with her. Um, she brought a ton of food and stuff for me. And like, she brought these. They're called Percy Pigs. And oh my gosh, they're so good. Like, they're gummy. And they're pigs. Look how cute. Oh. But, you know, you can't actually resist all this cuteness and just eat them because they're, they're so good. Like, mm, you can't stop eating them. Mm -mm. You know, like before dinner, I ate one. And I was like, yeah, I'm just going to eat one. And then I like shoved ten in my mouth because, oh, they're so good. And then, yeah, that's been fun. We went to Old Colorado City yesterday and we ate at Lava Get. And, um, we walked around. Lava Get is really good. It's this French restaurant. They're really good French onion soup. I love French onion soup. It's so good. They have so much cheese. It's like cheese mountain, cheese mania. It's really good. And I love this coolest watch ever. It's a dinosaur watch. See? Look at the dinosaurs on it. Oh, cool. Wow. Great. And then there's a little triceratops in the middle. Counting the seconds. It's really blurry, isn't it? I'm sorry. Anyway. Yeah, and have you noticed I'm in my bathroom? <laughs> Just because all the lighting ever else pretty much stinks right now. And it was annoying me, and I was like, where do I take my video? My bathroom! Because I really need to change the light bulbs in my bedroom. Anyway. So yeah, um, and then today, me and my aunt went to the zoo. That was really fun. I would have to say my favorite things were the giraffes and the elephants. The giraffes were cool because they're so pretty and cute and graceful. Wow. If I was that tall, I would be falling over everything. And imagine having a neck that long. Like, <laughs> be so weird. Anyway, and you can feed the giraffes. Like, you can buy these cracker things. They're kind of a mix between a graham cracker and wheat thin and then you know you take them and you hold them out to the drafts and then they reach out at you and with their big long necks and then they have these long tongues that just like keep going everywhere it's crazy and they're purple out of all the colors they're like purplish gray really purple and they'll stretch flex and get everywhere and then they wrap around the cracker and pull it back and you're like <gasps> because crazy <laughs> it's so fun. I recommend going and feeding giraffes someday. <laughs> and my second favorite thing was seeing the elephants because I love elephants. Oh, they're so cute. And their ears. Oh, I love how they fan themselves with them. Oh, I wish I had ears that big that I could fan myself with. No, I know, but it's cool. I like elephants. But my favorite of all, the most favorite thing of all would have been the hippos, but they were sleeping under the water. Oh, every like two minutes they came up and they like snorted and breathed, they were like in the air and then um, they went back down and they were just sleeping. I feel so sorry for all the animals though, all cooped up in those little cages. I mean the giraffes got the best thing because yeah, everyone loves them because you have to feed them. But the mountain lions were just like in this thing and they are just rocks and... They were just laying there looking all bored, but the puffins, the penguins, you know, the, like, puffins, anyway, kind of rhymes with muffins. <laughs> the puffins like muffins. Uh, I don't know what else rhymes. <laughs> anyway, anyway, um, yeah, they were just, oh, there was like grubby water that was probably all stale, and they were just laying on each other on the inside on the little cage thing. Oh, it's horrible. But anyway, yeah, I got this pretty bracelet. It's pretty cool. I like it a lot. And then I got this coolest shirt ever. Okay. 
it says, shake your tail feathers. And it has all these animals. Not necessarily birds, a giraffe. An elephant, wow. And um, they're all shaking their tail feathers. Cool. And it was on sale, it was only $10. I was pretty excited, and so yeah, that was great. We've been having fun. Um, I'm excited for 4th of July. I'm not that patriotic, but I love fireworks. And I'm going to this party thing. And at that party, the boy that I like is going to be there. I'm really excited. <laughs> yeah. I'm not five. I have been reading non-school books, and these have been what I have been reading. That makes any sense? Vampire Diaries. Ooh, wow! It's like their faces form one. I never even did this before. It's like a man woman. Oh. <laughs> anyway, um, this is by L. J. Smith, and this is the first book in the series. And there's only two books, but technically there's four because there's supposedly two books in each book. Anyway, um, The Awakening and The Struggle, two separate books here, and, um, the book is about, um, you know, vampires, of course, it's a love story. It's not as good as Twilight. I don't think there's ever going to be a vampire love story book, vampire book in general, that is good as Twilight by Stephanie Meyer, my favorite book ever. Different video, same truth. Anyway, so yeah, um... It's a good book. It's about, you know, a girl and she's so pretty and popular and she has everything. She can get any guy she wants. And then one day there's this mysterious Italian sexy man who comes in and she's like, oh, I want him. And then, um, of course he doesn't do anything. And then, um, I guess down the road and they fall in love. And, um, yeah, this video is going to be more of a spoiler. So if you don't want to learn about this book, yeah, go read it. But if you don't want me to spoil it for you, then stop watching now. Okay? Stop. Okay? Okay. Now you can't blame me for anything because I already warned you, okay? Okay. So yeah, they fall in love and everything. And then um, he has this brother. His name's Stefan. Um, well, the main guy, good guy. His name is Stefan. And then Damon and his brother. And Damon is bad. Stefan is good. Bad, good. And then, um, Damon comes and he's bad, and of course he wants Elena because Elena looks like this girl from their past that they really both, um, loved, and she was a vampire, and she turned both of them into vampires, um, even though she was only supposed to pick one. Um, and then, um, she killed herself. Yeah, her name was, um, Catherine. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> anyway, um, and then so, all the book, you know, they're fighting, Damon and then their whole love story is going and Stefan only kills animals but that doesn't give him enough life energy and Damon is like a mass murderer and there's all these murders going murderings <laughs> going on and um Stefan gets blamed for him but of course it's not him and then um you know in the end of the book they're having this big fight and then um after they both like exchange blood with Elena and everything so she's kind of like memory anyway um and then so, yeah, Alana dies. And you're like, okay. And then I was waiting for two months for the next book to come out. Okay, this one is The Fury and The Dark Reunion. And so she's dead. And then um, in the first book, she goes back to life, but she's a vampire now. And instead of being in love with Stefan, she's like, once Damon. But then, like, out of the first, the second chapter, um, she's back with Stefan. It's really stupid in the back because it says, Damon finally possesses Elena. Ooh. And it's like, okay, for one chapter he does that, so it's pretty gay. Anyway, they have bad book packs, I think. And yeah, and then, um, all this other crap happens, and then, um, and then Elena dies for good. And it's just, it's good. I mean, she comes back to life, but I'm running out of time. How about I talk about this more later? Yeah, okay, I'm gonna make another video and post it right after this one, okay?